So my colleagues, Dr. Jason Leader and Ethan Cowan, and I had been doing HIV testing in the emergency department for years. We had run the ED testing program. We were finding patients that were newly identified late in the course of their disease. And so we wanted to expand testing into the communities, into a venue where patients would feel safe and they would feel less stigmatized about being tested. We picked three pharmacies in the Bronx, two pharmacies in Manhattan, and we were really looking for community pharmacies that were interested in actually having someone in their pharmacy and recruiting the clients that were going into their pharmacies. And so we had a public health advocate. The public health advocates are counselors, and actually they talk to the patients or to the clients or to the residents that are out on the street and actually try to convince them about HIV testing. Knowing your status is very important, and so they give the, the individual all the information that they may need to actually determine whether or not they want to take the test. If you have someone that is diagnosed with being newly positive, HIV positive, these, these public health advocates then become a navigator. They will take a cab with the patient to the Jacoby Clinic and essentially be seen at the HIV clinic same day. The results were really fascinating. We approached about 4,000 people, and two-thirds of those individuals were eligible to participate in HIV testing. Of those individuals, over 70% actually agreed to test. So that actually shows that the community really does want to know their status, and that's very important. The second result that we saw, which was also quite important for us, was that even though only 0.3% of the individuals that tested were positive, those individuals were found earlier in the state of their disease. And this is really why we wanted to do the testing to begin with. And we truly believe that if we could expand these efforts of community testing and really have community pharmacists be allowed to do testing, um, we, we, I think patients would go and, and the community would go and seek out the pharmacies as a, another venue especially if they have relationships with the hospital and with the clinics, because then there's a place to send those patients that need care.